The supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. Sun Tzu How does something as horrifying as war considered art? To start, let's define art as the expression or application of human creative skills. Now consider how war is part of life. Most living organisms engage in battle. In life and death, there will always be a struggle for resources. War exists for humans in everything from business to sports, video games, nightclubs, social media, politics, and even parenting. Our lives are filled with conflict, and how we resolve these conflicts define our lives. We wage war with ourselves. Struggles with depression and anxiety can destroy a person if they do not fight back. Even the most motivated person battles to stay on track and do what they know will make them happy and successful. The Art of War was written not as a text about specific technologies of warfare, but as strategies and tactics to overcome the inevitability of conflict as an agent of change for victory. Sun Tzu lived between 544 to 496 BC in the Zhao period of ancient China. He is traditionally credited as the sole author of the ancient Chinese text that is composed of 13 chapters outlining strategies and tactics of warfare known as the art of war. Each chapter outlines how a general should behave in order to win a battle by being aware of himself and his enemies, remaining flexible and keeping an open mind. This well-balanced, thought-out text has inspired countless generals and businessmen and other world leaders throughout history and is now a staple in every self-help section. This wisdom can and has been applied to modern times as well. Preparation Victory is decided before the battle is fought. A leader must understand every one of his soldiers underneath him, know their strengths and their weaknesses and train them in accordance. Every enemy is different and is as capable of learning as you are. Quote, if your enemy is secure at all points, be prepared for him. If he is superior in strength, evade him. If your opponent is temperamental, seek to irritate him. Pretend to be weak that he may grow arrogant. Unquote. Self-awareness. Sun Tzu teaches that peace is preferable to war. To know yourself means to know what enemies you can defeat and what enemies you should run from. It is better to avoid conflict and possibly avoid unnecessary loss. In life, you should pick your battles. Resources. Do not waste resources. Do not destroy resources so you can use them later. Napoleon and Hitler both had strangleholds on the world. Both major powers of their time plunged all their resources into invading Russia. They marched deep into the Russian countryside, overtaxing their resources. The Russians retreated using a scorched earth policy, destroying all the resources behind them, leaving nothing for Napoleon or Hitler. Soon, the Russian winter set in and the armies were cut off with no means of resupply. Both enemies were essentially lost in the harsh Russian countryside, dying or captured within weeks. Neither army ever recovered from this massive blunder. Think of next time you get into an argument. Don't get caught into long conflicts out of spite. You are literally pissing away your time on something that potentially doesn't matter. Adapt. Be like water. Take the easiest route. Observe the enemy and change accordingly. Wait for them to make a mistake and then exploit it. When strong, surround the enemy. When weak, hide. In modern times, this tactic has served small understrength forces like the Taliban and the Viet Cong. Using hit and run tactics, the North Vietnamese were able to beat the most powerful army in the world by avoiding direct battles and slowly winning through attrition. Balance is inner peace. Don't be reckless, but don't cower either. Someone with a temper is easy to goat. Don't let your anger lead you into exhausting and meaningless battles. Be compassionate, but not to the point of worry. This ideology is influenced by the Tao concepts of balance. The art of war teaches us not to rely on the likelihood of the enemy's not coming, but on our own readiness to receive him. Not on the chance of his not attacking, but rather the fact that we have made our positions unassailable. Creativity, balance, and insight can be used to overcome the enemy as well as guide you in your personal and professional life. War is truly an art. 
If you have enjoyed this, please hit the like button and let me know. I would love to hear thoughts and comments below. Know thyself, know thy enemy. A thousand battles, a thousand victories. Sun Tzu.